look at the Christian teachings on work as we've read. Number one, we learned that God initiated what? Work. So, as people of God, we are, we are supposed to work because he's the one who is the pioneer of work. Also, work should be accompanied by what? Rest. We read that after God working, he rested on the what? On the seventh day. Therefore, work should be accompanied by rest. And also, work is a command from God. It is a must you work. So when you're, you're sitting down and you're just lazy, I, I've, I, I, I never say I'm bored. Why, why can you be bored? You're bored, you're not working if you're bored. It means that you, 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 are not, you are not doing something. And work, remember, I'm telling you it's a duty. And you should take action. If you're taking action, you won't be bored. So uh, as human beings, we should obey God's command. Also, we glorify God through what? Work. You know, or standing up and clapping your hands and singing while you're dancing, that is working. So we're able to glorify God like that. And we glorify God also, not even that, when you're working in your work. For example, now I'm teaching you CRE. We are glorifying God through my work. You can use your work to do what? To glorify God. And also, hard work is praised and laziness is condemned. That is the Bible teachings about work. That's why we're being told a sluggard will become what? Poor, we've read. And then if you're hardworking, you'll become what? Rich. And uh, a, a, a wife who's uh, hardworking is what? Praised, as I told you in Proverbs, the one, Proverbs chapter 31. Also, God's work of creation is good. So, uh, therefore, as Christians, we should be able to do what? To produce work that is good. Just like God. If you look at the creation, everything that God created is perfect. So we should also be closer to God through our work. We work and produce work that is good. You as a student, your work is to do what? To study and get a good grade. God blesses the work of those who are faithful. He blesses it that it is able, he makes it profitable. If you are working, let's say, and I don't know why people, people uh, uh, if, even if you start from somewhere, you're going to get where you want. If let's say you, are, you have a kiosk, and a kiosk, uh, the, 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 the highest amount of profit you can get in one commodity is five shillings. So you should be very hardworking. If someone comes to your shop and just steals uh, something worth a hundred, what can you buy in a shop that is worth a hundred shillings? What now? No, let's even to go to 50 shillings. Milk is 50 shillings. Then let's say you buy milk. Milk is how, how much is milk? 60. A packet of milk, sorry? 60 shillings. If someone takes a packet of milk and drink it, if you have a, a shop, you know you're going to cost your parents almost profits of two days, even depending on where the shop is. Because if the profit margin is between two shillings to five shillings, what does that mean? So for, for, for you to be able to be blessed, your work to be blessed, you should be what? You should be faithful. So that's the work that you're doing, you're faithful. If you're faithful, God is going to bless you. And how is God, how are you faithful in your work? You as a student, how are you faithful in your work? So that God can bless you. Which work are you doing? <coughs> it's studying work. It is an activity, yes? Let's say you're working on something. Maybe you want to go for games, right? You have to keep on practicing. If you're faithful, every day you're there on the field doing what? Practicing. God will bless you. You're going to win. But don't go to the field two weeks to the what? Two weeks to the competitions, and then you tell us that other school is very usually, students usually say they were rough. They were rough. Or the referee, the referee was Baametuonea. The referee did not like us. And since we opened, how many times, you know, those schools that perform well in games, they practice daily. Also, division of labor. We, we read about uh, Moses, right? And the father Jethro who told him to distribute the work. So, as Christians, we should there is, we should practice division of labor. We divide labor. That's why when you're doing your morning duties, 
you are all involved, assigned, you divided the work. Christians should work for their daily needs. <laughs> Christians <laughs> should, should work for their daily needs. And I talked about it when we were talking about St. Paul. You work for your daily needs so that you don't do what? You don't give a burden to others. That is Christian teachings about work. 